Hey everybody, I'm Blair Rostick and I'm a 2020-2021 State 4-H Ambassador from Coffee County. And today I'll be interviewing my dad, Jamie Rostick, who's a poultry farmer in, here in Coffee County. So, how many chicken houses are on your farm? We currently have eight broiler houses uh, on our farm. And then uh, I helped oversee uh, my brother's farm also. He has a total of 10 houses. And how many chickens can each of those houses hold? Well, we'll just use my, my farm for, for a reference. Uh, those eight houses, each house holds 37,000 birds, uh, which is a total of 296,000 birds uh, per flock. We get six flocks per year. That's a total of one million. 1,776,000 birds in one year. That's a lot of birds. So what does a typical day look like for you on the farm? A typical day starts out with, uh, you know, checking inventory of feed, uh, water meter recordings from the day before, see how much water was drank, uh, resetting uh, any alarms, for that day, uh, going through, you know, daily maintenance, uh, everyday stuff of, of picking up morta dead mortality out of the house. Usually, we usually start uh, around seven o'clock in the morning and we'll be through with, with picking up birds, uh, usually, you know, by two o'clock in the afternoon. And then it's grass cutting and everything else the rest of the day. So how many workers do you employ on your farm? I have uh, one full time and two part time. Plus myself. And you said you get six batches each year, correct? That is correct. Okay. And what company do you grow for? Uh, we currently grow for Wayne Farms Enterprise. Okay, and does Wayne Farm supply for any restaurants? Uh, the main restaurants that, that this plant for, uh, fills contracts for is uh, the biggest one is Chick fil A. Uh, Wendy's Outback Steakhouse uh, is the main ones, but uh, Chick fil A is probably you know 75% of the breast meat that comes out of uh, the enterprise complex goes to uh, Chick fil A. So when we go eat Chick-fil-A, we could be eating your birds. Very possible. <laughs> what type of feed do you use on your farm? We use a, have an antibiotic uh, free, which is uh, RWA2, which stands for raised without antibiotics. Uh, there's currently four, four different feeds that Wayne Farms feeds, but for our uh, complex, we use the RWA2. Okay, and what is the average weight of a finished bird when they go head off to the processing plant? Average weight, our target weight is 475. Uh, that's uh, usually achieved uh, within 38 to 40 days. Uh, that's usually the length that we keep them. And, you know, you may be, may be over. Uh, you may push five pounds, which if you do, that's, that's just that much better. That's that you get paid by weight, so the, the, the higher you weight, the more money you make. That's an interesting fact. And what is the average cost of your house? One house, uh, well, rough, that's including uh, dirt work, uh, building the pad, the house, the equipment, uh, the well that supplies that house. You're roughly somewhere right around $400,000 per house. Gotcha. And have you ever won any awards for your farming? We have. Uh, in 2016, uh, we were awarded the uh, Alabama Poultry and Egg Association's Farm Family of the Year. And then also in 2016, uh, we were awarded the Coffee County Farm City uh, poultry farmer of the year. That's great. Are there any associations or programs to help poultry farmers? 
Yes, uh, Alabama Public Genetic Association uh, currently has uh, you know, different chapters uh, throughout the state. Uh, we are members here of the Wiregrass uh, Alabama Poultry and Egg Association, in which I am the current president of that Wiregrass Association. That's so amazing that there is organizations out there to help poultry farmers. And what type of equipment do you use in poultry farming? <clears throat> well, the, the, the house equipment, uh, I have hired hand controllers. Uh, we have short time feed lines, lubing drinkers, uh, short time uh, fans, uh, short time heaters, uh, and then also you have, that's just the equipment for in the house and then for your clean out equipment, uh, which we have a clean out a poultry house clean out business. Uh, we have uh, 18 wheelers that have belt trailers hooked to those. We clean the houses out. You dra drag it to the front using tractors with hydraulic blades, uh, lift type blades. Uh, then we have uh, telehandlers that we use to uh, scoop the litter out of the house, put it on the trailer, and then transport it to the field uh, to be used for uh, fertilizer. That's great how it can be used for all things. And how long did it take you to build your eight houses? I built the first ones in 2008. Uh, then we built two more in 2013, and then two more in 2015. And I know the birds like to be kept at certain temperatures, so what temperatures do you keep the birds on in the different seasons? When the birds arrive from the hatchery, uh, you, ha you're, you have to maintain 90 degrees for three days, and then temperature starts dropping an average of roughly four degrees per week. So that then at, at day 38 to 40, when you're selling those birds, uh, you're down to around 66 to 68 degrees, you know, depending on the time of the year. But just like right now, we would we would try to achieve 68 or 66 degrees uh, in the summertime at 40 days. Sounds like they like to be kept warm for a little while. Did you have any previous experience in poultry farming before you actually got started yourself in it? <clears throat> uh, yes, uh, my daddy built uh, three houses in 1982. Uh, my brother added two houses in 1990. And then uh, I went to Auburn University and uh, obtained a, a degree in poultry science, uh, graduated uh, Auburn in 1997. I started to work with Wayne Farms as a field rep and worked for them for 15 years, uh, during which time I built the, the first four houses and then uh, ultimately uh, resigned and come home to be a full-time farmer. So your major in college was poultry science? Yes. What would you say is the best thing about your job? <clears throat> Uh, basically being my own boss, uh, being able to, you know, you making your decisions, uh, on a daily basis, uh, you get to see the, the end result of your hard work that you work for every day, uh, not only in just, uh, poultry farming, but in uh, row crop farming in general, or cattle farming, uh, watching the calves grow watching their crops grow. Uh, it's just fulfilling to see the, the, the small things that you plant or start with end up into a market, marketable uh, agricultural product. So you do a little bit of it all. You have chicken houses, you have cattle, and you farm row crops. Yes, we have uh, roughly 150 head of uh, mama cows. And then uh, we have uh, this year, uh, we planted uh, almost 1,400 acres of peanuts, uh, right at 200 acres of cotton, which we, we flip-flopped this year because of the, the market on cotton uh, was not uh, profitable at the time of planting. So we decided to, to go with peanuts this year. And so far, hopefully, uh, crops look good. And I think we're going to have a, a, a bountiful 
plentiful crop and harvest. Well, I hope that happens. And last question, what advice would you give youth interested in your job? Uh, that's, a, that's a tough question, but, uh, you know, work hard, strive to do your best every day. Uh, and, you know, don't ever, don't ever give up on the dream. Uh, farming is a hard life. Uh, it's, but it's a fulfilling life. It's, it's uh, enjoyable to, to be able to, 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 like I said a while ago, get up every morning, go to work and enjoy something that you do. Uh, but just, you know, live the dream and, and, and reach, reach for those goals. Great. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to be on an interview with me. I enjoyed talking to you so much. Thank you. You're very welcome.